So let's look at the details of that reservoir and let's look first at cores of typical facies. Now these cores were published and Saudi Aramco was uh, kind enough to let us study them and look at them and take pictures of them for um, educational purposes. And what you see here is stromatoporids, which are very typical um, kind of skeletal deposits for this type of um, um, de deposits in the Jurassic. And of course the core itself is brown because it's stained by hydrocarbon. But if you look at other areas of the core, they look like this. And this is essentially moldic porosity, but you can still recognize the mold shape, which are essentially ooids. So here's evidence for ooidal deposits. If you look very closely at this brown rock, you will also see that it shines and has crystals. And those crystals are dolomite. And in thin section, it's even more obvious. We can see that the ooids, this is now from a different part of the reservoir, but the ooids are in this case well-preserved. They're not um, moldic, although some moldic porosity is visible, but around them we see quite a bit of this, this um, fine grain texture, which effectively is dolomitization of the ooids. We can also see the white mineral here, which is a, a gypsum deposit or anhydrite in this case, because gypsum transforms into anhydrite during um, burial. And anhydrite is a problem because it can occlude porosity. And here's a better example even of those ooids, where you can clearly see now we have clear moldic porosity. That moldic porosity is partially filled by a dolomite cement. So here we're in a zone where the dolomitization maybe went a little bit too far. And the moldic porosity we'll see in the next um, class is usually formed during meteoric exposure. So there's here an indication that the reservoir was probably exposed to meteoric condition during low stand before being dolomitized and slightly over dolomitized because we have a planar um, C dolomite here, so cement, uh, within the, the ooids. And on the right picture, you can see that we have this problem where it's one of the complication of this type of reservoir is to understand the, the, the property in terms of porosity and permeability because although dolomitization can be good, it can over dolomitize. And also those brines are not only rich in magnesium, but also in evaporative minerals. So the precipitation of gypsum and anhydrite is a, a major issue here for reservoir properties. We were lucky enough to be able to go to the outcrops and I really enjoy my time uh, visiting the outcrops in Saudi Arabia, close to Riyadh. There are some beautiful outcrops and we had a postdoc working there on the Jubeila formation, which is a, an equivalent to the Arab formation in the subsurface. Uh, Gawar was deposited on the other side of the Arabian basin, which is an intra-shelf basin depicted here. We are located more to the west of the Arabian Shelf Basin, so it's not exactly the same, but the rocks are very similar to the subsurface in Gawar, as you will see, because we find the same types of stromatoporid here at the outcrop. You see the size of these organisms that are typical for the Jurassic and, and older sequences. We also find at the outcrop some fascinating geometries that essentially show channelized carbonates. And this is not a deep depositional setting. This is actually shallow water carbonates that have channels. So we need to try to understand how these channels form. And if you want to be convinced that these, these are shallow carbonate, the um, persons here have their hands on a massive coral head, which, which can only be deposited in shallow water conditions. So the idea here, and that's a model published by Aramco, is that on this shelf, you have channel deposits that can be relatively um, shallow. They're only about 10 feet deep, so that's three meters deep. So they're not very deep um, channels, but they're relatively broad. And inside those, those channels, you typically have coarser lithology because A, 
everything that lives on the edge of that channel, such as the coral I showed you, would roll and fall into the, um, the channel. And B, those channels are storm channels. So they're basically used by storm currents and return currents from storms. So they tend to be quite um, high energy compared to the surrounding sediments. So that brings me to the conclusions about this um, arid depositional settings. The first thing to remember is that when we have evaporation, it leads to chemical concentration of different ionic species. In a marine sabcha, because we start with, with a marine fluid that has magnesium, that can lead to dolomite precipitation as a cement or dolomitization, although the volume of dolomite will be relatively modest. In a um, basin, in a lagoon, that is in evaporative condition, you can obtain a concentration of, of those ions in the seawater, in the surface water, that lead to reflux circulation, and that reflux circulation can lead to dolomitization of the underlying uh, limestone. Now, dolomitization can improve porosity and permeability. It can typically transform what would have been a tight lagoon into a nice sucrosic dolomite. But be careful, you also have the problem of potential problem of over dolomitization in this case, if you have too much dolomite being precipitated as a cement, so you occlude porosity, or you can even precipitate evaporites evaporative mineral like anhydrite in the pore space. And that can reduce porosity and permeability. So when you look at a reservoir or a setting where you have evaporative condition, it will become very important to know where in the system you are. Are you in a zone that is over dolomitized or where we have a lot of anhydrite precipitation close from the source of the brines? Or are you in that Goldilocks zone where you still dolomitize, but you don't over dolomitize and you don't precipitate too much of the anhydrite? And that is your perfect reservoir. So in the next class, we'll start to look at meteoric diagenesis, what happens to carbonates when they're exposed to the surface during a, a low stand. Yeah.